Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a build and buy overview of the newest Sims 4 build and buy kit, which is the Sims 4 book nook kit. I'm actually really excited about this one because it looks like it has modular bookcases and some book clutter and some comfy sofas as well. It looks really cool from the couple of screenshots we've gotten. You can see them on screen now, uh, but I just purchased the kit, installed it, and we're going to take a peek. So when you first launch up the game, this is the screen you get, and it says a reader's retreat. Arrange stackable bookshelves and decor in a way that suits your sim style, whether that means a light-filled window seat or a cozy hideaway in the corner. Comfy and cozy. Sink into a good book in a cushy sofa. This kit features plush seating with soft, relaxing accents that'll help your sim unwind. That sounds amazing. Let's take a look. Alrighty, I made a small box on a lot here and it looks like we have a new wallpaper, which I was not expecting, the Genre Max wall. It's a wood panel. That actually is really pretty. Let's take a look at the different swatches we have here. We have a darker one, a lighter one, a white one, and a black one. That's quite nice. I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. I don't know why, but I wasn't expecting a new wallpaper, so very nice. I don't think there's any new flooring or anything like that or windows or doors. I think everything else is items. And it looks like these are the items that we are working with. I'm so excited about the sofas. Oh my gosh. So starting with the chair, we have the cozy corner boucle chair. Oh, she is gorgeous. Hello there. Oh, this is such a trendy like fabric boucle and like, oh, and there's the corduroy versions as well. I really like this chair. That is so pretty. It's cool that you have the option. I think I like the boucle better and I particularly like this swatch because of the pillow having the two different colors on it. Very cute and it looks like we have a matching sofa. To oh my gosh, that looks so comfy. Oh, new favorite sofa. A matching sofa to go with that. That is beautiful. Look at the blanket and the pillows. And of course, we have the corduroy versions as well. Oh my gosh. These swatches are really nice. These look so comfortable. I think this is going to be a very used item for me. And it looks like we have a second sofa. Oh, this one's a love seat. Oh my gosh, it matches the wallpaper. This one could be like a built-in seat into like a book nook, which makes sense because that's what this pack is called or this kit is called. These swatches are beautiful. I love the pillows. Oh my goodness. I'm very impressed so far. <laughs> We're only a few items in, but these are so nice. All right, so there are our sofas. And then we have a end table that has some books in it, as you can see down there. Let's take a peek at our swatches here. It looks like the books change as well as the wood. Oh, cool. We have two different book swatches per wood swatch. That's very helpful. That's nice. You could use that as a side table or probably as a coffee table if you scale it down. I think that's really cute. We did get a coffee table though, which is this one right here. So much book storage on both sides. Very cute. It's a nice modern shape. Of course, all of the colors changing. Same as the other ones where you have two different swatches of books per wood tone. I appreciate that, especially because it looks like one's more like neutral and then the other one is more colorful when you switch back between those. Very cool to put it to this one so it matches with what we have going on here. Next up, we have the alleged stack of books. And this made me so happy. I've seen so many people have stacks of books on the wall like this, and it just looks so nice as this little floating shelf of books. You can put clutter up there as well. I'm sure we have some clutter items that I can test up there. We will test that as we get to that, but nice collection of swatches here, some more neutral ones and some bright ones as well. Very pretty. We have a storage shelf, which is part of our bookcases. So there's this one. Oh, they are modular. I love that look at these pieces. You can just kind of stack them together like that. Let's look at some of these swatch options. Wow. I'm glad we have the empty one as well. I think that's going to come in a lot of handy. And actually, I'm going to skip around a little bit so we can grab some of the other pieces here to like kind of look at everything together. Those are the smaller pieces. And then we have our bigger ones right here. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. And you can just kind of, you know, how our modular furniture in the game works, kind of pull pieces together, have all these swatches. Look at the color coordination on that. That's very satisfying. Oh, these are going to be so good. I'm really excited to build with these. Uh, actually, I will be live over on Twitch later tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. If you'd like to join me, I will be building with this kit and uh, I'd love to have you join us. It's so much fun to build with everyone. So if you would like to be there for that, uh, I will have a link down below to the Twitch channel. All right, I will play with those more later. Let's go through the rest of the clutter. We have the basically empty book basket, a little basket with a couple of like journals and stuff in them. Oh, these are so cute. I really like that. We also have a pile of books that's really tall. You can put that on the floor or on a table. Take a peek at these swatches. Once again, a nice combo of neutrals and really bright colors as well. Oh, this 
print. I feel like there's gonna be so many good swatches. Oh my gosh, there's so many swatches. All right, so we have the different wood tones on that one. Oh, that one's cool. Oh, I'm so happy to have some new, some new posters, some new artwork in the game, and these are really pretty. Oh, wow. Like they're all book covers, but like you could use them as other things too. These are really cool. Oh, I love those. Next up, we have the storybook house stand, which looks like a stack of books and then like a little house around it with a book on top. That's a cute sculptural piece. I quite like that. I'm gonna have to move some of this stuff off. Floating books. Okay, because next up we have this, we have the self care book tray. Oh, it's an open book and like a little mug. That is cute. Look at these swatches too. I like the texture on the mug, like the speckled glazing. That's quite nice. And how some of the trays are just like a flat thing and then other ones are more marbled. This is a very cute item. I'm happy to have another tray item. I feel like I use those a lot in builds, particularly the ones we already have from Tiny Living, Stony Escape, and Eco Lifestyle. So having another one is very welcome. And then it looks like we have another basket full of books. And this one has a plant in it. I really like the plant. I wish it was separate so I could place the plant everywhere, but this is really pretty. This is another clutter item I feel like I'm gonna use in every build. It has some weird square shadows on it, but that might be just my reshade. Yeah, it appears to have just been my reshade, but that is a really pretty item. Next up, we have a rug, the rug of poetic justice. This looks like a fluffy rug. Oh, it is a fluffy rug. Oh, I love that. Let's take a peek at the swatches. Looks like we just got some neutral ones here, but that is so welcome. I feel like I've just been wanting some more basic rugs and that looks so comfy. So I really like that one. And then we also have another book piece that has book ends you can put on a bookshelf. I'm assuming this will be a functional item like most of our book items like this where your Sims can read off of it. Let's see if it says here, fun five. Yes, it's really cute. I really like that one. And I like how it has more neutral options because I feel like a lot of our books like this that we currently have are more bright. So that's nice. And it looks like we just have a few more items. We have the fire hazard, love it. A plant with a candle next to it. That's exactly what that is, a fire ha hazard, but it is very pretty. Oh, some of them are see-through vase and some of them are not. That is cute. I really like that item. I know I saw some people on Twitter kind of upset that the candle is linked to it, but I think it's really pretty. I'm not too mad about that, but it is cute. Although these are very flat, but a lot of the plants in the Sims are like that. So I'm not, I'm not too pressed, but very cute item. I'm, I'm overall very impressed with this kit. And then we have a table lamp and a standing lamp. So let me move some stuff again. Place down this table lamp here. Very cute and modern. I feel like this would be a good bedside table lamp. Of course, lots of metal swatches here. Black one with the marble base, and I'm assuming this will have the same matching swatches. I feel like The Sims has been really stepping it up with lamps lately. I've always not liked a lot of the lamps in the game, but the last couple of packs have ones I really, really enjoy. So that one is going to be used quite a bit. I'm very excited about it. These are gorgeous. I love all of these items. There's too many things I don't know where to put right now, uh, but I think I'm gonna decorate a space and uh, that'll probably be the thumbnail you see on this video, but I really like this kit. I think this looks gorgeous. I'm so excited to play around more with these. You can like wrap them around windows, probably incorporate this into uh, like the bookcase area to really make a coast. Oh, there's books under it. I didn't notice that. Look at the books under it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I really like this kit. This is so fun. And I don't think you have to use it in this context either. Like this is just a comfy, cozy couch. It doesn't have to be for a book nook. It could just be a cozy living room. So I really like this one. I think it's worth the money. I paid for this one out of pocket. I did not uh, use a code because <laughs> the code wasn't available yet. And I just really wanted to check it out. So I purchased this one and I think it's worth the money for when it comes to the quality of the different kits. I really like these items quite a bit and I can see myself using them a lot, especially because we have three different seating options here that are all really, really strong. So plus modular bookcases and beautiful artwork. Just it's a yes from me, but definitely let me know what you think of this kit. Are you picking it up? If you did, what do you think of it? And uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here. If you enjoyed this video, of course, like it. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos of overviews like this. I do this every single time a new pack or kit comes out. And I also post pretty frequent speed builds on the channel. So uh, I'd love to have you along if you are interested in that, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.